Now it's time to take a look at the Photo Interrupter Demo LabVIEW project. Here I have my Photo Interrupter attached to the digital input number zero on connector B. The VI is running right now and you can pick any desired input channel. I'm displaying the input channel state and right now I'm passing my finger back and forth through the light path and it goes low when the light path is blocked. I'm also counting the number of times that the light path is blocked. If you need to change the input, you'll need to stop the VI because the input is assigned right here before going into the loop. Simply use the pull down menu and choose the desired input right here. Also, when you restart the VI, it will clear the event count back to zero. And that, at the moment, is the only way to reset the event count. All right, let's take a look at some details here. Here I have a scalar control to pick my input. I pass that as an array to the low level open that opens a channel to that input. And then you can read values from the input. Here I'm using the index array to translate the array version of the output back into a Boolean scalar value. And that's what I'm displaying right here. Now, since I have an active low input, I'm feeding that through a NOT gate, and then this section detects a rising edge. And it does so by comparing the present state of the input to the state on the previous pass of the loop. And that generates an active high signal as a result. Now this feedback node that's used to remember the previous state is accessed here. It's under the programming palette. We'll change the direction and then if you'd like to see it looking like the traditional DSP unit delay, you can go ahead and adjust that. It's mainly a cosmetic difference though. Now this Boolean signal going high indicates that we've just detected an edge and that means we're supposed to increment the event count. Here's where it's displayed, and it's actually stored in this feedback node right here, initializing it to zero. Now when this Boolean line goes high, then we select this path. That takes the present value and adds one. Otherwise, if it's low, then we just maintain the present value of the count. The feedback node itself, though, is actually updating on every pass of the loop. Here I'm taking the air cluster and ORing that together with the stop button on the front panel. Either an air condition or a stop button press will pass you through the simple air handler and finally execute a software reset on my Rio. Right now I'm pacing, pacing the loop at 10 milliseconds, giving me a 100 hertz update rate on the front panel.